Okay, so I had an idea for a project. I have all these cookie cutters, and I've had this sculpty clay for a while, and I still had some left, and I was thinking I need to do something with it. I didn't know what. Um, so the package is just this little, let me see. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's the Sculpty 3 um, Oven Bake Paste. Nope, not paste. That's just something else. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's Oven Bake. And um, like I said, it's the Sculpty brand. Um, I think I don't, I really don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I do know I got this one, which is comparable, um, for like 94 or 98 cents, something like that at Walmart. Um, and it's it's about the same. I don't really know the difference. Um, I actually, I can't say the same because I haven't used this one before. Um, but it is Sculpty brand, so I'm assuming that it's going to be just as good as this one. So like I said, I had some left over, and um, I was going to decide... Um, to mod pod mod podge it with um, like maybe um, some kind of material or something that I have around the house, maybe some um, cardstock or something. So first, I'm going to grab this. Um, I have this plastic thing that I used before. Um, the side's messy, so I'm just going to turn it over and use this nice clean side. And it's just this plastic. Um, I have tons of it. I bought it a long time ago at Walmart. Um, in the like um, fabric area where they have, you know, where you can buy yards of fabric, they have this plastic stuff. I don't, you don't really need it. Um, just make sure you have a good surface um, for rolling this out on a nice clean surface, um, something that won't make it stick too much. Um, and then I got my little rolling pin, so I'm just going to roll it flat, and then I'm going to pick a cookie cutter and I'm going to cut the cut, um, cut the fabric out. I'm sorry, not fabric. Cut out my shape. And then on here, it has the instructions on how to cook it, which is at 275 for 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that. First, let me go ahead and figure out, um, let me flatten out my stuff, <laughs> my sculpty um, clay, and then I will find a shape. Okay, one second. Okay, so I rolled it out, and it's it's not too thin, it's not too thick, it's going to be, I mean, it's kind of thin, I don't know if you can see, but it's going to be exactly the size I want. So, um, I got fat, and I found this shape that I decided to go with, so I'm just going to fit it onto this piece, which that looks about the way I want it. Yeah, let's, let's go. So then I'm just going to push it down. And then after I peel it, one sec. Okay, so I've um, cut off the remainder, just peeled it off pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in the oven, wait about 15 minutes, and then you'll see how hard it turns out. And then we will later mod podge some kind of cardstock to it. Okay, so I found this old. Um, scrapbooking paper I've had for a very long time and it just has all kinds of things I could use um, I completely forgot I had and in fact I found a lot of things I forgot I had so um, with that I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just pick a solid color um, as my background I think I'm gonna go with this one right here so it's just cardstock. Um, it's the um, the kind that you use on scrapbooking. Um, I have my shape, and it's nice and firm. The other side had some wax on it that I was messing with, but anyway, um, nice and firm. I'm just gonna trace around it so I can get my shape, and then what I'm gonna do is after I get that on, I'm gonna put some of the Mod Podge on it. And then I will put um, some more stuff on top of it. So first I'm just going to go ahead and trace this really quick. Okay, so I cut out my shape. And I have my Mod Podge and a brush. Uh, this is a bristle brush. I couldn't find my other one, so I figured I'll just use this one for now. shouldn't make a difference anyway. So I'm just going to lightly uh, put a coat on there, and then I'm going to put my um, cardstock on top. 
Okay, so I went ahead and I glued that. I smoothed it out and it's drying now. Um, I found this picture in the refrigerator and it's starting to get really old. It's from like, oh gosh, I don't know, my daughter was probably six years old right there. So I'm going to say this picture is probably like three years old. Um, two to three years old. And I don't want it to get wasted. You know, after a while, these little this prints will just start coming off. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. And I'm just going to paste it on here. Um, just so I can be saved and we can keep it on here. And I think maybe we'll even turn this into a magnet so we can put back onto the fridge. So, um, yeah, I think that would be a good idea just to use this old Chuck E. Cheese printout and Mod Podge it on there. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so I cut it out. I wanted some of the background to show um, so it wouldn't be just like all picture on the top. Um, right now the lighting is really bad. I don't know if you can even see it. So basically um, now at this point I'm just going to put a thin layer as well on top to seal it on. And then we'll see what we'll do about the, the stimming part of it. I'm not sure if we're just going to leave it or what. Maybe we'll add something to it. Okay, so I decided like right here, I'm just going to write her name. I did get these at um, Hobby Lobby. I think I paid like a dollar, maybe two, but I'm pretty sure it was a dollar. Um, so I have these alphabets. I got this also at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just ink pad, but this one's actually really good for um, fabric. And um, I think it said pretty much any surface. Let me see. This I can't remember, but I think it was about eight bucks. Um, paper, fabric, wood, leather, and more. So it's pretty much good for anything, and it'll stay there permanently. Um, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna write her name down this part. Um, not write it, but stamp it, and then hopefully it'll come out good. And I will seal it with the the Mod Podge once once one more time. <laughs> Alright, so I wasn't quite good at lining it up evenly. I think maybe next time I would maybe tape them all together and then use it as like one stamp um, just to make sure or to ensure that it would be um, straight. But really, I don't, I don't mind. I think it's fine. Um, it's a little crooked, but I think it's fine. Um, so yeah, then I'm just going to put uh, one more layer over the entire thing and call it Dunzo. Maybe stick a, um, a magnet in the back or something and put it on the refrigerator. Alright, and it's still wet, um, but I just want to say as one last touch, I think I'm just going to add this glitter glue around the edges just to kind of make it a little bit better. Um, I got this at Target in the dollar section. Um, I guess I got it around Christmas time. Um, but I think they have it often. I'm not sure, but you can always check back. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do some glitter around the edges just to give it like a, a finishing touch. Also, if you didn't have stamps to write the name, you could just hand write it. That would be fine as well. Um, hopefully this turns out cuter than it's looking right now. Um, I guess we'll see at the end. Okay, so I did not like the way the lettering came out on there, um, so I just covered it all up with the glitter glue. Um, on top of it, once it dries, I'm just going to go ahead and write her name on there. <laughs> it just seems easier. Um, I did get these other stickers that I found in my scrapbooking stuff, but unfortunately they are not going to work because these are too big and these um, have white around the letter. So it's like squares, white squares with the letters on them. So it's not going to work. So it's just easier for me just to hand write it on there. Maybe I'll use paint or something. Um, to make it stand out. Um, but I think it looks kind of cute. Um, like I said, if I make it into a magnet, it can go right back on the fridge. Um, but yeah, so far it's, it's not totally bad. I mean, it was looking kind of crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it looks good now. So I'll just put a picture at the end to see what it finally looks like once it's finally dried up and I have her name on it. Okay, so this is what I just ended with. I just skipped the name altogether. I added a little bow. I had some ribbon. And um, I added a little flower at the very top. And glitter all the way around. And this is what it turned out to look like. It's not totally great, but it's not totally bad. So 
Uh, I guess I'm content with it. I'm just going to go ahead and put a magnet on the back and then put it on the fridge. Alright, and I hope you guys did better than me.